What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing the video today. Couldn't stay away, had to go to my LFS, The Coral Reef. You can find them on Facebook and all that good stuff. Actually came here looking for a Harlequin Shrimp. I have a little bit of that Astorina Starfish. I've seen a few. Um, every time I see them, I pull them out, but I'm looking for a Harlequin Shrimp. Um, but since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the fish that they have and of course you know the coral the only fish that i like to add to my tank is my little frag tank um probably like to add like a, some clowns something like that and uh, more than anything i need to bump up my snails bump up my cleanup crew um just to kind of help me battle that algae that i have in my tank in my 180. up until now i haven't been running any carbon at all or GFO in my tank. Um, I just haven't been doing it. The only thing that I've been doing to keep my water clear is adding uh, filter socks, which I just cleaned out today. I had three filter socks that I had for a week, two, three weeks now that uh, needed to get clean. But something that I don't really like to do is clean those socks. Now I did come home with a few things from the coral reef. You can see I got some rods, food. Right there, I got a bag of some corals and a little specimen collection cup as well with some corals. Let's take a look and see what I got. Now, I had a little bit of money stashed away from my uh, trip when I went to go see to Phoenix area. Um, so I had this cash that I was hiding from the wife. And as you can see, I picked up a branching hammer. I, of course, picked up some zoas. And I picked up some more zoas, and then I picked up some of that rods food. The rods food that I picked up, this is the second time I got it. It's actually the coral blend. Um, it's really, really fine once it dissolves. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. I got those suckers right there on the top. Um, they're really nice. Um, I don't know the names of them. But the uh, place where they got them from had them listed as uh, fire and ice, which is totally not fire and ice. But as you can see, my little 20 gallon is getting full. I have a lot of room still, but I am running out of room with the uh, frags. And if I start cutting up some more frags from the 180, which I need to do, this thing will be jam packed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I haven't been using GFO, haven't been using carbon. Um, I've just been using my protein skimmer, filter sock, and this uh, Santa Monica algae turf scrubber. Now that Algae turf scrubber, as you can see, is full, nice dark green uh, algae. But I probably need a bigger surf. This is called the surf two. Uh, I probably need like the surf four for my 180 to help uh, actually, you know, keep up with all my phosphates and all that good stuff. Um, but you know what? If I use a little bit of GFO, um, my tank will be good to go. Not only that, I'm not complaining, but I got this for free from Santa Monica Filtration. Check them out. Um, this stuff does work, but yeah, like I said, I need a bigger one. As you can see, I did dump the light inside of the water and the sump, and it worked great. What I've been doing with the uh, algae, the turf algae, I've actually been saving it. I kind of feel bad just taking it all out, throwing it away because... This thing is full of pods, lots of life in here. I'm talking tons of pods. And uh, I just go ahead and put them in a container. And that way the uh, pods can live and go be good instead of me just throwing them away. You know, pods are also a natural food source for the fish once they make it up into the main display. Of the uh, My melanaris and all the other fish will go ahead and uh, eat them. So just out of curiosity, how many of you guys are running turf scrubbers on your on your tanks? Um, there are easier turf scrubbers to make. Uh, you can do DIY yourself, which is a screen, pit of light, and uh, it'll grow. But I like this one because it just floats in my sump. I don't have to do any plumbing. It's actually silent despite all the bubbles. Once that lid comes on there, it's uh, pretty quiet. And this is my weekly harvest that I get from it. I usually get, you know, that weekly and I just uh, save it and put it in the sump. See if the uh, 
fish make it and that way I just don't throw them away. But how many of you guys are running turf scrubbers yourself and do you think it's a, a waste of time? Or do you guys uh, just rather use chemicals like, you know, GFO, carbon, all that good stuff? Now let's go ahead and get into some good stuff. I ended up doing an order. That's right, I got another order. I didn't get hooked up. I paid for this. Uh, but I went through my reef to yours. And uh, they sent me this shipment pretty fast. Um, basically what I wanted was some Zoas. And that's exactly what I ordered. I ordered some Zoas and a few miscellaneous corals. I'm going to go ahead and show you the shipping. Shipping was done nice. Uh, cooled pack in there. Pretty good. Um, still actually cold. They're from uh, Colorado, not too far from me. But the reason I went with them is because... They had some uh, candy apple red Zoas, which I really, really, really wanted. And Miss Carolyn from Instagram, which she has a lot of nice stuff. Her and her husband. Her husband just got a badass Red Sea Reefer. She has a Red Sea Reefer Nano and uh, really cool. She had some of those candy apple red Zoas and I wanted to get some of those too. I got about nine frags in total. Um, different zoas a little bit of variety and I got these little purple and green blastos from them uh, price was right and uh, the majority of the stuff I got were zoas and a little bit of uh, monopora looking SPS type stuff I figured it was better to order and then ask for forgiveness later on um, I know I had just put an order with cultivated reef and then I just paid another order with my reef to yours and I had just got back from the local fish store from the coral reef and I came back with some other corals so yeah for sure it was better to just go ahead and order ask for forgiveness and then uh, go from there I do have to tell you when I went to the LFS and I picked up some frags I was like hey check this one out I was shining my blue flashlight on it and my wife was like okay it looks just like your other corals but uh, she didn't catch up, she didn't pick up that I was telling her I picked up um, some new frags. So there it is, I got some more frags. Uh, these will probably be the last frags I ordered for a long time. I didn't get in trouble or nothing like that. You know, his wife was just kind of laughing at me like I have a problem. Um, which is true, I do have a problem. That's why I do my monthly, weekly counseling with all of you guys um, every Sunday, every Sunday. I pop out a new video. I talk to all you other people who are crazy, crazier, have uh, better systems than I do. And uh, it's a lot of fun just doing these videos because every week we get together, we talk about fish. You guys drop comments below and uh, it's a lot of fun like that. So also another thing that I'm doing is I'm breaking off the plugs and putting them onto discs. The reason why I like to use discs is because... You know, the snails can't flip over the, f the corals. They can't flip over my frags. And uh, so I just get my cheap dollar store glue. Here locally, the uh, Dollar Tree sells those. And then I glue them onto the frag disc. I got my pliers. I break the stems on there, put them on the disc. And um, that way, they'll I'll watch them grow out. They don't get flipped over. And they don't die. Um, so there it is. Just doing a little bit of maintenance today. Uh, Sunday fun day get the ro water top off my reservoir the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this gsp i'm gonna cut it with the razor because um i started with a little bit of this it's starting to grow really good on the overflow but you know what i want this overflow to be sps another thing i found was my duncan right there i put it on my overflow but what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna move this rock from the anemone, I'm going to move this whole rock, put in the 20 gallon so that the peppermint shrimps can go at that Aptasia, start removing it all from this rock because this rock is full of it. But guys, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate all you subscribers. Thanks for watching you guys and you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe.